Okay, so to, to reiterate, here's how here's how the tier list is gonna work, right? We have kill on sight. It's self-explanatory, right? Keep it at a distance. They can be in the same room on the opposite side, or better yet, don't be in the same room with them, right? 50-50, yeah, you're gonna have to read you're gonna have to read the situation and give them a, ch a chance, right? Like maybe they will, maybe they maybe they won't betray you. Who knows? Uh, give them a shot. Odds are they're not going to attack you outright. Um, though they might have, you know, a little bit of, you need to warm up to them a little bit and then they'll begin to trust you. Okay. And then friend shaped, honestly, I'll, I'll team with them as quickly as I can. I've never had a fucking situation in which I couldn't trust these people. Okay. And we're going to go just down the list. So barbarian is a 50, 50 character. Okay. The reason I say that is because most barbarians are either on the spectrum of I'm going to smash everything in this dungeon until I die or until I get out, or they're on the other side of like, I am the biggest and strongest around, I need to protect the little guys, okay? I don't, I don't know, I feel like this depends on class X class. Eh, kind of, but I'm giving a general overall view. Like, it really depends on what your class, class is on if the the opposing person is going to trust you as well, right? So you gotta keep in mind, if a barbarian meets a barbarian, it's it's two coin flips meeting each other, and if they both land on heads, then they're working together. If they both land on tails, they're working together. But if either of them are, like, opposite, they're just gonna smack right into each other. It's just how it is, right? I also think barbarians don't really feel the need to fight everyone because their uh, because their gear is very limited to them, right? Barbarians have a narrow section of gear that is good for them. They don't feel the need to contest everything because what is barbarian exclusive is very specific and what is good for a barbarian is very specific. <laughs> so like, they don't need to, to fight for every hood for every chest piece. They just need to get what they need and they're good, right? Uh, Bard. Bard, I know this sounds a bit biased, but I've never encountered a hostile Bard. Um, I have not once encountered a Bard that was immediately aggro at me. I think most Bards are under the mindset of the fact that they are the worst at direct PVP like they're 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 rogues with music when it comes to PvP, um, <laughs> um, or I guess clerics, they're like clerics in a way, right? Because they can buff themselves up a lot, but like it's very clear. It's because bards haven't figured out the mechanics enough to be aggressive. Exactly. I mean, they're pure support. Bards just want to vibe. They're not pure support. They do have offensive capabilities. Their offensive capabilities though are not really tailored towards PvP, um. I reference it quite frequently whenever I am like talking about the classes in Darkest Dungeon. Uh, classes are good at either PvP, PvE, or PvD. Player versus player, player versus the uh, environment, which is typically the mobs, and player versus the dungeon, how well they move move around, deal with traps, get loot, etc. Right? <laughs> they keep nerfing bard combat every patch. Yeah, that they do. So I think for a long time forward bards are going to remain as like you could probably trust them and you're not going to regret it and they're not going to if, if you're in goblin caves or like if they're not in your party they can't buff you but also their their damage we'll put it like this their their sh piercing shrill i think is their flute attack right takes five seconds to play and does 25 damage They take five seconds to swing at you once with a fucking short sword. Like, it's not really that... <laughs> they're not that dangerous. So they're friend-shaped to me, quite frankly. Um, clerics, keep at a distance. Um, sometimes you'll meet a nice cleric, and they'll heal you and give you a shield, and, like, they will pretty much just make you their their tank. Like, they will adopt you as a tank. Um, and th that is fine. I don't have a problem with that. Um, however, as more clerics... Clerics in this game have fallen into like the D and D problem, right? Of they are now so versatile, they have no reason to pick a lot of the support spells, and they end up 
just going full aggro judgment um, and range. Like, I think the cleric ranged spell attack is fucking absurd. Um, I want to be a friend of the cleric. I kept meeting not friendly rogues. We'll get the rogues in a moment. Don't jump the gun here, okay? Uh, don't jump the fucking gun. Um, <laughs> um, I think most clerics are very wary, uh, as Neko Ali is, is, you know, mentioned. They want to be nice, but they don't know who to trust. Um, and their choices for, like, friends, as we're, we're, gonna, if we're gonna find as we keep on going down this list, um, is not that many. And it's typically not the ones they want to adopt. <laughs> so, if you see a cleric use judgment, kill them, and they have undead purge. Friend them. Yeah. It's, it's most, mostly... Keep them at a distance. I don't trust them. If you meet a cleric and they immediately start buffing themselves, uh, that's a sign of aggression, and I will not tolerate it. Druid. is not out yet, so we're gonna give him a 50-50. Fighter. Keep it at a distance. Um, most of the time, I encounter a fighter, uh, they're not friend. They are greedy. They are tryhards. They are sweaty as shit. They feel like because their class has no cool gimmicks, um, and they just have omni, omni tool versatility, uh, that they can bully everyone and just take their shit. Um, the amount of times I've spawned in the lobby and I've seen a fighter with like 11 healing potions is a bit absurd. <laughs> they, I don't know, they're just a bit of a bitch. Most fighters will fight. Mo like, fighters are more aggressive than barbarians in most cases, and I don't know why. I think it's because of the fact that they d are so gear heavy, they're desperate to get their hands on anything that would make them better. The clip clop of fighter boots scares off. Yeah, like, you can hear a fighter coming, and you can either get ready to fight him, or you know to get the hell out of the way, because they're not gonna stop for you. <laughs> Ranger, kill on sight. Um, I, I really don't fucking trust rangers in this game. Um, I try. I'm, I'm st I myself will still give everyone, like, at least, you know, keep your distance. But realistically speaking, I should be bonking every ranger I come across. Um, because rangers are one of the few classes that have, because they're the only class that has an innate, innate ranged attack, so they feel very confident in their ability to take out other players. Hello, Pokemon. In. And I think most of the time they they take this advantage that they get from being a ranged combatant and they use it to uh pester others and and yes they're a danger to their own party uh because most rangers don't know how to fucking uh you know aim high uh but specifically in goblin caves i think a ranger is like i've never encountered a ranger in goblin caves that i've like, in that previous match that we just did a little bit ago, I'm literally just sitting in a hole above him and a ranger starts drawing arrows to try to shoot me. Like, we're not even in the same room, and he's wanting to fight already. <laughs> when it's the final ring, and we're both just trying to get out of here. Like, come on, dude. Let it go. You're, you're gonna be fine. I'm gonna be fine. Just don't... You can't even get to me. Like, even if you did kill me, you wouldn't be able to get to my stuff. Stop it. Get some help. Uh, rogues, kill on sight. Um, the only time you will ever meet a rogue, be nice, is if you are two solo rogues in the crypts. Two solo rogues in the crypts have more odds to be nice to each other than anyone else. If any other circumstance, smack the shit out of that rogue. They have likely stolen. They have, they might pickpocket you. Um, they might try to tap I don't- I need someone to explain to me how the fuck a rogue manages to two-tap a fighter with a rondel dagger, um, with only- well, like, what was it? It was 22 damage on a rondel dagger plus one true magic, and they had the poison stacking. They didn't have ambush, they didn't have armor piercing, they didn't have any of that shit. They just- and I'm dead. That's bullshit, and I hate it. I fucking hate rogues in this game. Um, which is why I play one, primarily. Warlock! Uh, keep it at a distance. Most of the time, Warlocks are... They're... They're in the spot where they... They have a lot of gear options. So they need to get what they can. Um, but th they often... Because of how they work... 
they have a lot of potential to... They're more PvP-oriented than the Cleric. Without any of the utility. So their only option when confronted with a problem is to kill it. Unlike the Wizard or like unlike the Bard, you know, the other two casters. But I think Warlocks don't want to fight necessarily, but they're, they're creatures of opportunity. Um, and the only reason I don't put them on kill on site is because I have met a few friendly warlocks who uh, managed to help. And they are actually, depending on how geared the warlock is, uh, is also incredibly dangerous because I'm pretty sure they're one of the few classes that can one-tap you because dark magic is something that not a lot of people have resistance to. I think Barbarian is like the only one that doesn't get one-tapped if they take the magic resistance perk. And then finally we have the wizard who I think you should give him a shot. Some wizards are a bit blast happy, admittedly. Warlocks are a bit blast, or sorry, wizards are a bit blast happy. They, they often fall into the situation of they have a lot of damage potential, um, but because of how fragile they are compared to all the other classes, they don't have a lot of ability to like get away should you decide to fight them. If you find a wizard and they, they're holding a spell but not casting it, and you are able to calm them down, and you, you get a pocket wizard, be careful! You still might get a hit. Thou shalt not suffer a wizard to live. No, let the wizard be. Wizards have it very hard. Solo wizards have it very hard in this game. Um, contrary to belief, playing a wizard is actually pretty fucking difficult. Um, especially because their spells, or a lot of the monsters in this game, have a high magic resistance higher than their physical resistance, I'm pretty sure, um, because geek the mage. <laughs> um, because a lot of spells do a high high amount of damage, and but they're tailored towards killing players, not killing mobs. So a good wizard will be able to deal with a lot of situations. If you give the wizard a chance, you'll have a 